Takanuva! I love him. This is the coolest Toa ever. And despite the fact that this set is basically like 20 years old. Oh my god, 2003 was 21 years ago. Despite its age, this set is a certified banger. Let's talk about why this set is great in today's video. And we'll also highlight the wonderful pieces that come in this set. And I'll show you a couple ways that you can use them to build awesome creations. <laughs> and then we'll finish off with some sweet, sweet revamps of this lovely set. Here we go. One of the greatest joys in my life as a small child was owning this set. It just felt so special and so, so important. Why? All of that lovely gold armor. And plus, he's the seventh Toa? That concept alone blew my mind as a kid. Also, I just felt so attached to Takanuva. I got to watch his whole origin story in his own movie. Yeah, that's right, his movie. Bro had his own film, and it was so good. Yeah, there was just such a special vibe to this set. It felt legendary, it felt important. And building the set, oh, it lived up to all my expectations. I mean, look at this incredible mask. That still might be one of the best Bionicle masks of all time. Plus he's got that sleek and stylish armor with a solid looking staff. And look at those beautiful eyes as well. He's great. He's got that classic gear function too, which still to this day, you better believe I'm gonna be playing with it. It's so addicting. It's just so much fun to pull that gear. He's shiny, he's special, I love him. Now I know what you're thinking. Ben, this is already peak Bionicle. How's it gonna get better than this? Well, this set also includes the Yusa Nui, which is his awesome speeder bike. The curves on this thing make it look like a spaceship fresh out of Star Wars or something. And I love it. I mean, look at how it uses Rakshi back pieces to give it these nice metallic curves. Like it's some kind of sports car or something. Flipping up this little compartment reveals a mask of shielding at the very front of the vehicle. Now this does have story relevance to it, but when I was a kid, I always played with this assuming that it was giving shielding powers to the vehicle. And to top it all off, it also has a brilliant play feature where you pull a lever and the landing gear can flip up or down. Man, what a good set. But what about them pieces in this set? Mm, are they any good? Yes, yes they are. Takanuva has a nice array of brilliant gold bionicle parts. Aren't they lovely? Brick Thing has a funny little creation that's called a gully, the Iron Jigbot. And all of these parts, we can see them being used here. We got two of Takanuva's masks as shoulder pads, very nice. We have two of these torso element pieces as leg armor, and there's also one on the chest too. And I love how these pieces have then been partnered with some of those weapon elements that are being used as hair. Yeah, this color, it's so pretty. Nice way of using these pieces. Oh, but don't forget, you also get this stunning Mask of Light in that unique Glitter Trans Clear color. How nice of LEGO to include this version and the old gold version too. Now I've actually done a whole separate video talking about this mask, so if you want to see mocks that use it, go and check that out. I'll have a link below. We also got these gold Nuva shoulder pieces. How could these be used? Well, Redverse reimagines Justice Slicer Millennia, and they've placed this piece on the face yet using the little gaps in the armor to form holes for the eyes. What a treat. This is a lovely design. Takanuva's bike uses a ton of silver Rakshi back pieces. Look at how many you get. Perhaps you could use this a little bit like PB Makes Stuff has done here. You see these jet engines on these wings flowing out of the back? Look at how the turbine area interfaces with these Rakshi back pieces. Those parts just flowing together into each other, it's so satisfying and so seamless. The way those parts marry up is, it's breathtaking. What a great idea. Now to attach these silver back pieces onto the bike, they of course have to be locked into these Rakshi body elements. Specifically these couple pieces that you're seeing right here. You know, it's always delightful to have very large quantities of the exact same part. So maybe you want to put these pieces to good use on a mock. Well, why not do what Decacoridera has done on this cave scorpion? We can see these two pieces on the front of the face and also towards the back. I rather like the smooth look that this piece adds on the face, and then the way that the other element helps with the structure of the body, leading towards the tail. Well, that's awesome. Oh, and by the way, it's a pleasure to see so many older pieces being put to good use on this scorpion. It's a great reminder that no matter how old a set is, 
they are always going to be helpful for building something. Now, how could we use this sweet old grey Tahu mask? Well, Beanman8947 has a Matoran that places this mask on its face. Literally. The shape and colour of Tahu's How mask, it does give off an older look. And I guess that's kind of the aesthetic of this creation. It's an older robot that's been around for many years now, and they're in bad condition. Plants have started to grow on top of them, they're discoloured and rusted, and really, this mask pairs perfectly with that vibe. And hey, what a great blend of old and new grey pieces. Doing that shows off a very nice aged look. Some more classic pieces are these lovely white Nuva leg parts. And Oblivious uses them on the legs of this creation, but they've been flipped the other way around and integrated into a much larger design. I really like how the builder is taking the robotic look and feel of these pieces, as well as the unique shape of it. And they're using it alongside other like tubes and hoses. And this way you end up with a design that feels very mechanical and industrial. This is a very nice part use. Or also, Takanuva has his white mutter torso. How could we use this? Well, Danny Man uses it for, well, a torso. But look at how they've surrounded it with other elements. Yeah, they just leave that bottom bit exposed, which showcases that nice piston-heavy design. Then you cover up the rest of the other stuff, the stuff that you're not really worried about seeing, and you create a beautiful masterpiece. Yeah, I'm always a big fan of only using, like, one section of a Lego piece, and then covering up the rest. Doing so leads to so many great designs. And last but not least, you get three of these Liwa Nuva blades. Why not use all three of them like Bean Man 8947 has done, and turn them into a fun helicopter design that sticks out the back of a mock? So clever! There you have it folks, that's a few different ways that you can use some of the parts and pieces that come in this set. Now let's check out a couple revamps of Takanuva. These two mocks, they're pretty awesome. Bronze Age Bionicle reimagines this set, but they change it up so that the Yusanui vehicle is more of a traditional bike. I like this change. Decking it out with heaps more weaponry and adding the wheel up the front, that's smart. And hey, you could even buy like a modern Technic Lego set, whether it's a car or a bike, whatever, and use those pieces to enhance this vehicle. It'd be pretty easy to source those kinds of pieces. Yeah, Takanuva himself, he looks mighty fine buffing him up and making him look a little bit more muscular, then giving him a cute little blue bag? How nice. He also has an exquisite splash of blue on his staff. Introducing some blue here, it actually does a lot for the design. It's a nice way of breaking up the colour scheme just that little bit, even if it is only like one or two blue pieces. Or trans blue or glow in the dark blue more specifically, but still, blue. Yeah, I like this. Over to the next version of Takanuva, this is built by Ibuki00. This design sticks a little bit more closely to the original version and the original proportions. But still, they maintain this nice, smooth look. Those CCBS armor shells on the lower legs, that's a good way of capturing the texture as well as the rough shape of the original leg piece. Something else that's nice about these new limbs is how poseable they are. Because of course, the OG set didn't really pose that much. Well, it could, but it had zero articulation on the knees and the elbows. This one does. And I'm glad it does. Look at some of these sick poses that he can pull off. Oh yeah, and look at that too. Why not invest in some clear action figure stands? Use those to pose your Bionicles and you can put them in all kinds of dynamic positions. Especially ones where they're kind of jumping in the air or kicking or doing whatever. They also took a stab at redoing the Yusunui vehicle, but this one maintains the original look a little bit more. But hey, it introduces some nice trans light blue pieces. Mate, there's two examples right there of how good trans light blue looks on this character. Maybe it's worth adding in some of those pieces if you want to revamp this set. I really like how this is filling in a lot of gaps on the vehicle. We've also got a lot more protection on the front of the vehicle where the Howl mask is stored. Putting one of those Borok windshields there, nice addition. And all of this is done while keeping that same aerodynamic and sports car like design. It's so pretty. And when Takanuva is on top riding this bad boy, mate, so good. There you go. Two incredible revamps of the Holy Grail Bionicle set that is Takanuva. Oh, he's the best. If you enjoyed the mocks that I showcased in today's video, be sure to check the links in the description below. You can see more from those builders right there. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I love you tons. Happy building and bye for now.